Humanoid robots are walking among us, and one just lost its mind. In a viral 31-second clip, Unitree's H1 went from demo darling to full-blown horror show. Limbs flailing, monitors crashing, engineers diving for cover. Leak or botched showcase, the footage has ignited a global firestorm over AI safety and the race to put robots in our factories, homes, and showrooms. Think this is a one-off glitch? From life-size showroom greeters in Shanghai to tireless assembly line helpers in Stuttgart, robots are everywhere, and the next headline could hit even harder. You remember when the T-1000 in Terminator 2 suddenly malfunctions and its liquid metal limbs spin out of control? That's exactly the kind of chaos we're staring at. The H1 stood on a raised platform, tethered by its head. Tethers are routine. They catch a robot if it stumbles. But when the H1 tried to rebalance, its control software misread the tether's pull as a major fall risk. Tiny fixes became big jerks. Monitors shattered, cables whipped across the floor, and two engineers dove behind crates. In just 20 chaotic seconds, a live demo turned into a viral disaster. Analysis, runaway feedback loop. This wasn't an AI rebellion or a robot turning evil. Experts call it a feedback loop failure. The H1's balance code was built for perfect lab settings. No tethers or surprises. When the tether pulled, the robot thought it was falling. It pushed back harder. Each correction backfired, making the problem worse. Industrial arms and even surgical robots have tripped over similar bugs. The difference here? A tethered humanoid on camera. No injuries happened, thanks to safety interlocks, but the clip scarred the robotics world. Viral reaction and memes. 20 seconds of chaos led to 100,000 views in four hours. Reddit's RR Oddly Terrifying dubbed it, Robot on Hook Goes Berserk. Memes exploded, ED209 falling downstairs, Skynet jokes and Terminator references. A surgical resident quipped that even a Da Vinci surgical console is just motors and firmware. On LinkedIn, Westwood Robotics CEO warned that this glitch highlights how dangerous humanoids can be when safety is skipped. The whole internet was talking and laughing, but also asking, is this the future we want? Contrast, East versus West safety. Safety isn't a checkbox, it's life or death. In the West, companies like Agility Robotics spend years testing their robots. Digit has worked around humans in factories for over a year, no fence is needed. By late 2025, Agility plans to launch a safety-certified humanoid that can walk and work right next to people. In China, firms like Unitree and Engine AI race to show new robots in public, even before they are fully ready. They chase market share, but sometimes reliability suffers. Case study, robot marathon mishap. Last month in China, a robot marathon lined up 21 humanoids to race. Only six crossed the finish line. The H1, fresh from its gantry meltdown, stumbled from the start. No backflips, no kung fu kicks, just an awkward shuffle and a face plant. Watching it was like seeing a toddler learn to walk. Brave, clumsy, and a little sad. The event raised a clear question. Are marketing videos painting a true picture, or are they hiding real weaknesses? Customer beware, version confusion. Early buyers paid $16,000 for the G1 model. They thought they'd get a robot that could run and dance like in demo videos. But Unitree offers a sports version, the G1 Comp, that costs five times more and actually has extra motors and sensors. Some over-the-air updates promise smoother walking and talking, but rollout has been uneven. Ask your dealer exactly which model and firmware version you're getting, or you might find yourself part of the next public embarrassment reel. Market boom and indie innovation. The global humanoid market was worth $2 billion in 2024. Experts predict it will jump to $13 billion by 2029. That's more growth than personal computers saw in their first decade. On the low end, UC Berkeley's open source Humanoid Light project lets hobbyists 3D print a small robot for about $5,000. Using an Intel N95 mini PC and home printers, it can walk off a bench, write its initials, stack foam cubes, and spin a Rubik's cube, zero tweaks after simulation. It feels like the Raspberry Pi moment for robots. Cheap hardware meets clever software. Practical choice, German efficiency. In Germany, startup Egas takes proven polymer parts and bolts them into a humanoid. For about $55,000, 
you get an eight hour runtime, LiDAR navigation, and plastic gears that never need oil. They ship an evaluation unit, let your team test it on a real factory floor, reception desks or canteens, and then fly in an engineer to optimize performance. It's not about flashy demos. It's about uptime, reliability, and clear return on investment. High-scale deployment, Hyundai's Atlas. Hyundai isn't just making cars. Now they're building them with robots. After buying Boston Dynamics in 2021, they folded Atlas into their U.S. plants. Picture a technician with a tablet, three Atlas units hauling stamped panels, and a dozen ABB arms spot welding frames. The goal, 300,000 electric cars a year. Unions worry about jobs, but Hyundai points to safety. Four-legged spot robots have cut inspection accidents by 20%. Two-legged Atlas bots bring the next leap, climbing stairs and stepping over conveyor belts like humans. When robots fail, we need graceful failure, like a car's airbags, not shrapnel. Today's best robots have dual kill switches, a big red button within reach, and a remote command that cuts all power. Sensor fusion, merging data from IMUs, LIDARs, and force torque sensors, lets machines detect wobble before it grows. Soft landing modes cap joint torque automatically when something feels off. These safety layers mean that when glitches happen, they stay small and safe. Unitree patched the H1's code this spring, adding new sensor inputs and smarter balance checks. They rolled out software V2.1 to all demo units. Next, they plan an adaptive gate system. The robot will learn from tethered tests before going free range. They're even beta testing a ball dribble demo where the H1 chases a soccer ball without tipping over. If it works, it proves its stability in a fun, visual way, just like those parkour videos we love. This live demo gone wrong felt like a scene from Ex Machina, the moment Ava starts to break free. Only here, the break wasn't intentional. It was a code bug. As we push robots into our lives, factories, showrooms, even our homes, we must remember the lessons from that H1 meltdown. Build fast, yes, but test faster. Because the real world is messy. Cables lie across floors, power flickers, and humans drop water bottles by accident. Our robots must learn to handle it all. Real world stakes. This isn't sci-fi. 45 kilograms of metal swinging at a child or an adult could maim or kill. In warehouses, we've already seen cases where robotic forklifts pinned workers. Home robots will need safe limits. Slower speeds in living rooms, padded corners, voice-controlled emergency stops. Think of them like electric cars. Quiet, smooth, but with big power under the hood. Without proper safety, we risk a future where every robot glitch becomes headline news. The Unitree H1 meltdown was a loud wake-up call. In robotics, safety must evolve at the same pace as innovation. If you learn something new today, hit that like button. Subscribe for weekly tech stories that skip the jargon and get to what matters. And tell us in the comments, where would you feel safest around a humanoid robot? Your living room, your office, or never? Let's discuss.